Now to a morning original. These are stories you see first on Wake Up Central. March is recognized as National Trisomy Awareness Month. Down syndrome and Edwards syndrome are some of the more common forms of trisomy. But as Wake Up Central's Journey Taylor shows us, one girl's diagnosis of trisomy X is not stopping her from shining brightly. Extra, extra, read all about it. It's a story on trisomy X syndrome or triple X. It happens when an extra X chromosome is found in each of a female cell. Halo the boss. Halo. About mommy and Halo the boss. Right. <laughs> yep. And while that may be the story, the headline is all about the life of Halo. When we first found out that um, she was going to have an extra X chromosome, of course I was scared. Of course, like, what the world, you know, you're going to do? Uh, how will I be able to deal with that? Kafee Hunter has had a few rough chapters. I was diagnosed with preeclampsia, and then I went into HELP syndrome. So I was able to get pregnant, but I wasn't able to keep my babies. But on Easter Sunday, April 16th, 2017, their miracle baby made her debut. She had to come home on oxygen. That was kind of scary. Um, but you looking back now, I'm like, I did it right. Like we got through that season while rejoicing in her child's resilience. Kafi noticed during the her time of despair, there wasn't much family centered literature on what she was experiencing. She turned their lack of knowledge into a way to bring awareness to the syndrome by writing a book titled Extra Special, A Miracle Named Halo. You see that superhero? Halo faced a few extra challenges um, in her young life when she was born um, very prematurely um, and she was quite sick for some time but as you can see now um, she is just doing amazingly. Dr. Misty Vermani is an associate professor of pediatrics and neonatology at UAMS and she worked closely with HALO. She says trisomy X is not as common or well known as trisomy 21 commonly known as Down syndrome but certainly deserves our attention and our compassion. Triple X or trisomy X syndrome um, does have some associations with some developmental changes and differences in how um, an individual develops, but overall um, they have normal lifespans. They can go on to have children, they have jobs, and they interact with, the, with society um, much like anybody else does. During National Trisomy Awareness Month, remember for children like Halo, the child is not their condition. But we don't identify her as the child with trisomy X. We identify her as Halo, and Halo has extra needs and some things that are special about her. Halo beams bright, showing us all her story is still being written. She's a light everywhere she goes. Now, Kafi <laughs> says that she wants to thank her tribe, NICU at UAMS, and of course, God. Mm -hmm. Extra special miracle name Halo mm -hmm. is available everywhere on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and more. That's big time. Yes, <laughs> we're going to have a link to this lovely book later on our website. So I love it, Karen. It's so cute, Journey, and she, her smile is infectious. Oh, Such yeah. a beautiful little, little girl. Yes. She had some <laughs> gorgeous dimples, and then what I really loved about some of the stories in here, they're true. Um, she pulled out her tubes when she was a baby. Oh boy, I she's a strong girl. Though she was yeah. a strong girl, a <laughs> little scary, but mom said she's always had this resilience about her oh, that I can I do it. this on my own. Yes, so, yes. Halo uh, definitely shines bright and it was it was an honor to absolutely cover this story. Yes, so. and bring awareness to trisomy X and also then the, some of the sub, subsequent yes. conditions that we know of and don't know of. Yes. So like hers, for example. Yeah. Thank you, Journey. She's a star, so I'm excited you to hear more about a halo in the future. Look at that book. <laughs> Barnes and Noble and Amazon. Way to yes. go, mom. Okay, thank you.